Hey everyone, Mark Luber here from Careers Out There. You can find me at careersoutthere.com. I recently interviewed Amy Patel. She's a biomedical engineer in the pharmaceutical industry in San Francisco. She also runs the biomedical engineering blog at amyshaw.com. Biomedical engineering is a pretty incredible career path. I asked Amy to tell us what it's all about, and here's a look at how it went. This all sounds so cool. Tell us some ways that this plays out in real life so that everyone at home who's never dealt with biomedical engineering can relate to it and can understand it. Things that you may have heard of are tissue engineering, artificial organs, stem cell research, and also pharmaceutical development of drugs like synthetic drugs that are made purely in the lab, not from things like plants or other animals. There's so many different things that you could do to help society. For example, in Europe, there was so, there was a 21 year old that lost both of his arms, you know, by being electrocuted. So basically, biomedical engineers surgically implanted electronic arms onto him, and he was able to live normally. He was able to brush his hair, to drive his own car that was designed for him, and everything. So that's something that really helps people all around the world. Other things are like stem cell treatments. There's different types of adult stem cell or embryonic stem cell treatments that help people with all sorts of diseases, and we still haven't even unlocked all of the potentials yet. My favorite is tissue engineering. I used to do tissue engineering research where I made a triple cell culture of an actual you know, respiratory tract of a person. And so that could basically, in the future, help people with asthma breathe better. And things like that, you know, it's, it's really limitless in this industry. It's amazing. We're just scratching the surface of it. And being a part of it, you can really help people later on in your life. So with tissue engineering, would that be... Tell me if this is an example of tissue engineering. I recently heard a story, and I believe it was rock star Keith Richards' wife, had a, like a fake bladder made because she had bladder cancer. And, yep. but it wasn't just like a bag, you know, they used to, I think, just throw a bag in there. Um, mm -hmm. like if your colon was removed, you get a colostomy bag or something. And yeah, I, my yeah. understanding is that this is actually like an artificial bladder, but made out of her own body, her own cells. Is that tissue engineering? That's definitely called tissue engineering with use for artificial organs. So, uh, just to go a little bit off that example, Putting just a bag in your body is not going to help. It's not going to expand and contract like a normal bladder. It has limits. So that's a disadvantage of using something like that. And then if you transplant an organ from another person, you know, your body can reject it because your blood and your cells are different than that person. So artificially creating an organ is creating it so that it will stay within your body and also act like similarly to a normal organ in your body instead of just a bag using for a bladder. So uh, yes, that's definitely a great example of artificial organs and tissue engineering and you know maybe even stem cell implantation in the future. Wow. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up and if you want to learn more about the career path, you can find the full interview at careersoutthere.com where we interview professionals from all kinds of career paths about what they do so we can help you find a career that fits you and you can love what you do. You can also find us at Facebook, Twitter, and lots more videos here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.